sourcing. But the reason for the video today is I wanted to show you how I'm using uh, Google Docs to uh, uh, make assessments uh, easy to uh, administer for you know a large group of kids in my building and take data on all of them. So let me sign into Google here. And I'm going to go to my drive. And uh, well, first of all, let me go uh, to the teacher side here and go ahead and open up an assessment just so I, you know, make sure we're all on the same page. And let's just say I'm doing second grade, lesson three, six, and nine, from what I could tell, all have uh, assessments in there. So I'll go to lesson three, and I'll just click on beat assessment. And what I do is I put the assessment up on my smart board, and uh, I'll have a student come up and well, first of all, I don't really have a smart board. I made mine out of Nintendo Wii controllers, but that's a whole nother topic. Um, so, you know, here's a, you know, question one, and they could choose A, B, or C, okay? So what I was kind of struggling with is, do I just have them write it down on a post-it note or a, you know, an index card and then collect 220 pieces of paper and, uh, and you know, do all that stuff? Well, I didn't really want to do that. So... Uh, what I did, oh, I'm on a different account here. Let me go to my other one. Durr, sorry. Uh, what I did was I made my own assessment and or uh, answer sheet. So what it is in Google Docs is you create what's called a form. So I'm going to do a short one by from scratch. So go to form, create a form, and then uh, I can call this... Uh, you know, the the name of the form is a generic answer for multiple choice. Okay, that'll bug me if I don't capitalize that, huh? Okay, so then the question type is right here. So what I do for the title of the question is say, let the answer be given for all of them it's generic we don't want to put I don't want to make uh, 12 different assessments you know I don't want to make 12 different custom assessments the work's already been done all I'm trying to do is gather the answers so what I do is um, I call this module uh, mod, mod, or second grade lesson three okay since all the lessons are numbered on the form I actually have the students uh, put their class name and the lesson code which in this case would be uh, second grade third lesson would be 2.3 and that helps me remember what test they took all I gotta do is a revisit the test if I even need to and here's the beauty of it I don't ever have to go back to the assessment to see if individual students did it right and I'll show you why so um, I'll, I'll get to that in a second what I'm gonna do is uh, this will be a uh, answer B answer C and none of the assessments as far as I can tell ever have more than four answers okay so I click done now I add another one, call it the same thing as this, so I can just copy and add an item here and paste, and then what kind of question type? It's a multiple choice. This is A, this is B, so on and so forth. Okay, now at the top, I need, if I don't like the order of things, I can actually, uh, I can add you know manipulate this however I want um, let's say uh, I want to have something at the top where they can put their information in so let me just go to a finished one okay well actually let's not look so what I'm gonna do is go here live form this is what the students see okay I know I screwed up down here but look when I uh, let the answer be given uh, quarter notes get one beat you know a was the best answer on that one and I just made a typo here. So we'll let BB be the uh, best answer on the second one. I click submit. Look, submit another response, whatever. Okay, so now let me go to the, the drive and go look at, here was the form. Now here was the responses. 
and people can take the test and there's the answer for one there's the answer for two let me show you how I put this into motion now this I'm just going to delete these and get them out here we don't need them because I've already made one down here simple multiple choice assessment let me show you the form I set it up like this the teacher will ask you a series of questions i.e. those questions okay there's our questions and then name there's a form here that you can make that's a date drop down box here's my class codes for all of the classes in the building that's all custom you do it once you got it saved forever the lesson code that's where they would put in in this case they would put in uh, uh, where'd it go they would put in 2.3 or whatever and that helps me understand who's doing it and that's a text that's all they gotta do is put that text in this is their answer goes in here there's my multiple choice questions show a link to submit another response so if I have multiple students using the same iPad or, or Windows phone or Android phone or iOS device or anything that can access this form fine here's the other beautiful part no Google account required publish and show a public link to form results okay and allow responders to edit responses after submitting that's helpful if I'm doing like a multiple choice at the beginning of the hour and then they can go in and change their answers after the lesson is done what does this look like after four classes come through here and 20 kids per class and uh, I've only got 30 minutes of music well here's what it looks like <clears throat> the simple multiple choice assessment responses click on that there they are these are all kids that are in third grade Miss Jackson's class the lesson was uh, third lesson third uh, third grade okay now this is why you don't need to even go back to the test to see what the questions were to see if the student got it right I'm looking at the whole class right here I'm pretty sure if most of the people answered C that's gonna be the right answer I mean I really don't think that anything that I'm asking in the quaver system is anything that you know kids are really struggling with however I may revisit the question over here because I got tons of different A's and C so I better make sure before I start my grading and then it's like well some of the classes got mixed up or whatever well I know these are all fifth graders right so if I want I just insert a row above and kind of separate them out a little bit so it's a little easier to understand so on and so forth I can take grades for a whole year this way if I wanted and then pop them in you know or whatever every nine weeks how is the easiest way to get them to see the form let me go back to the original form see this where it says view like this is the editing mode only I can edit it no one else has shared with this document they cannot edit it when I click on view live form this is what the student sees on their iPad or their phone or, or whatever it just depends on the device as long as it can scan a QR code they can get here and they don't have to have a Google Drive account to do it QR codes are easy maybe you've seen them maybe you've seen how to make them I, I won't go into detail here but basically go to the live form first highlight copy and then I like to use a uh, qrstuff.com super easy super easy to make here paste I use dynamic it makes for a little bit cleaner looking QR code and uh, you can download it here's where here's where I use it when I go to my school web page that, that I built on Gabbert communications I have my lesson plans link here if we're in a quaver day where I'm doing an assessment here's a quaver day usually I do them on Thursdays or Fridays so this is module one lesson four well I know that's not an assessment one so I'm gonna go back one week I mean, well, where'd it go? There. Okay, so this one was uh, module one, one, lesson three. I just simply go to my lesson plans page on the school website that I built, and I put the QR code right there. I put that up on the smart board. Kids come in with an iPad or some kind of device. They scan the QR code. 
by the end of the lesson, then they have that form up and uh, we can do the assessment. So, and it aggregates all those answers automatically back to the uh, Google document and the uh, responses form, okay? So that's a little bit about Google Docs and what I'm using it in, in Quaver. <clears throat> And then I'm going to make another video for the, uh, the host company that's taking care of our website. Thanks again. Uh, if you want to reach me, easiest way to do that um, would probably be just to uh, get my phone number here at the bottom of the page somewhere here. My website's right here, kcdj.pro. Thanks.